Hello everyone. Now today we are going to see the exact straight line mechanism. So mechanism is nothing but it is the combination of links in which any one of the link is fixed and the other links will be having relative motion with respect to each other. And here the mechanism will be used for transmitting the motion. For example, this mechanism we are using in any machine. So now we will see what are the mechanisms that will be tracing the straight line path. So initially we will see first of all the peculiar mechanism. This peculiar mechanism, so in this mechanism if you see there will be eight links means O1 will be fixed link one. So O1A will be the crank and then afterwards this link AC, BC, then BD and ED. So these links are nothing but two plus four, six. Then bigger link OC7 and this OD will be 8 link. So this peculiar mechanism consists of 8 links in which the link AC means the link length AC will be equal to BC, will be equal to BD, equal to AD. Means if you see these four links, means if you see this uh, for uh, links, this structure will be a rhombus structure whose sides they are same. And here the O1A link will be having rotary motion and this rotary motion will be converted into the, the this uh, oscillating motion of this rhombus structure so that this B point will be trying to trace the exact straight line path. So here, if you see the mathematical expression here, since this OC and BC length is same, OC and BC length is same, therefore the product of this OB into OA will be also constant. So on that basis only we will be seeing, means as per the length configuration, if this relation is we, it is satisfying for this mechanism, then only we can say that our this peculiar mechanism will be tracing an exact straight line path. So in this way, our this auxiliary mechanism it operates. The next is your Hartz mechanism. So this mechanism was developed by the scientist Hartz. So this mechanism was named as Hartz mechanism. Uh, this mechanism it requires only six links. There will be no any requirement of eight links. So in this mechanism, if you see here, the link O01 is fixed link and the other links uh, such as uh, O1A, if you see this link as O1A here, then FC, so this FC, this FC is here, O1A, then FC, then CD, CD will be this bigger part, DE and EF, DE and EF, these are the link the greater link, links which is having the length maximum and uh, they, they are being connected by the turning pair as a kinetic pair and the link fc and de will be having same equal lengths while the link length cd and ef will be are means they are same is their link lengths are same so if such relations means if such type of uh, configuration will be given for the hertz mechanism then only this point E, if you see here, this point E will be trying to trace a straight line path. Okay, so in this way, if if, if you are designing the Hertz mechanism, so if the link length ratio is same as per this given statement, then only this point will be tracing the straight line path. So now in the next slide, we will see the animation part. Here, we will be looking at a mechanism which is capable of tracing a mathematically accurate straight line. It was designed by Oscillier and it is essentially a eight bar mechanism. Here, the mechanism is shown schematically with a color code indicating the same lengths in same color. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and the fixed link eight, all connected by purely revolute pairs. To understand how it works, let us look at the geometry. These four links of equal length form a rhombus and these two green links added to it uh, still keep it symmetrical. So these are the lines of symmetry. Uh, A, B and P, T are the diagonals of the rhombus which bisect each other at right angles and meet at point M. 
Then we have these two links, again of equal length. One of them is fixed and the other makes P go in a circle. Next, we are going to look at the product of these distances, OP and OT, OP and OT, which can be expressed as this difference and the sum of OM minus PM and OM plus MT. Plus this PM and MT are equal. And therefore, we can make this substitution. So now it looks like the sum and difference product of two terms, which is nothing but the difference of their squares. And using Pythagoras, we can express these squares in terms of these lengths, which are color coded. So OB is a length of the green link, PB is a length of the blue link. Then this BM, this term will get cancelled, PM square, and we are just left with the, this expression, which is purely made up of lengths of rigid links, something that never changes and therefore remains constant. So the product OP into OT is constant. Let us see that in our figure. So we have a fixed point O from which there is this ray OPT emanating, and the distance of P and T from O uh, get multiplied to give us a constant. This expression reminds us of inversion. Inversion of point P with respect to a circle whose center is at O and the resulting image is T. So T is the inverse of P. Moreover, P is moving on a circle and that circle is passing through our center of inversion, O. And therefore, the inverse of this circle will be a circle of infinite radius or a straight line, which is traced by the image T. So T will be our tracing point for the exact straight line mechanism. Let us see this in its physical form. So this is the mechanism that we have derived from the geometry that we just saw. And we are going to drag on this point P, which will be moving on a circle. And you can notice its image T is tracing the exact straight line. Of course, we'll be getting only a segment because this is a mechanism made up of links of finite lengths. So we will be getting only a part of that infinite straight line. Here is another exact straight line mechanism designed by Hart. It is a six bar mechanism, all connected with revolute pairs shown here in schematic in a color coded manner. So lengths, uh, links of equal length are shown in the same color. The tracing point T is not a hinge, but it is a point that divides this link in a certain proportion. The proportions are given here. The point Q goes in a circle, which passes through E, which is the pole of inversion. And the inverse of Q is point T, which traces a straight line. Let us see how it moves. So that is a straight line, which is the inverse of this circle, the path of Q passing through the pole E. Thank you.